all the coffee drinkers across the world, they can be very happy because there is a new study that uh, showed how uh, habitual coffee consumption, moderate coffee consumption, is associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the study and what are some key takeaways. Do it! So this is the study, uh, next, actually pretty a new one, uh, 27th of September 2022. The impact of coffee subtypes on incident cardiovascular disease, arrhythmias and mortality. So uh, basically, they took actually quite a large segment of people, so almost a half million people, uh, 58 year olds with an average year. And uh, they followed up over the course of uh, 12 years or so. And they looked at, you know, the type of coffee consumption and uh, how many cups a day, how does it affect cardiovascular disease and uh, overall mortality. And they did find that the uh, all-cause mortality was significantly reduced for all coffee types with the greatest risk reduction seen with two to three cups a day. And this is the graphical abstract of the study, half a million people and uh, decaffeinated instant and ground coffee, which is interesting that they're both even like the instant coffee, which is generally <laughs> considered not to be that healthy, even that had a positive effect. So basically arrhythmias that um, the uh, ground coffee, the green line was still associated with the uh, lowest uh, incidence of arrhythmias and uh, two to three cups, even like four to five cups of ground coffee was associated with the lowest um, rate of arrhythmias. Instant coffee was also actually quite similar and decaffeinated didn't have like, any uh, significant impact on the arrhythmias and even like less than one cup a day, which I don't know how you measure that, maybe like espresso, <laughs> uh, that actually had an increased incidence of arrhythmias. Uh, cardiovascular disease so you can see yeah like one to two to three cups a day of ground coffee was associated with the lowest lowest um, incidence of uh, cardiovascular disease and the other coffees were a bit uh, lower association although it was still better than uh, no coffee consumption at all uh, overall mortality you can see ground coffee beats all in all cause mortality all the other types of coffee quite significantly and yeah like the lowest reduction in all cause mortality is two to three two to three uh, cups per day which is uh yeah quite a, like a moderate amount and it's not uh, significantly you or it's not like crazy crazy high amounts of caffeine usually you get it like maybe 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine uh, from that so the reason why instant coffee may be associated with like uh, a bit uh, less benefits than ground coffee it probably has to do with like the polyphenols and stuff like that so the ground coffee has more polyphenols i think they have probably like different processing method as well like the instant coffee generally is you know processed and heated and whatever they're doing dehydrated uh, which can like harm some of the beneficial compounds in the coffee and make them more uh, dangerous whereas the ground coffee regular ground coffee the pure pure coffee uh, that has like all the benefits in terms of the uh, longevity effects and the reduced risk of all cause mortality i'm going to also quickly look at the science daily article about this study and it's pretty much the same story but i'll just uh, add a bit of uh, nuance to this or we'll go into more detail uh, the usual coffee type was instant in 198,000 participants or 44% of the participants, which is very <laughs> interesting that 44% of the uh, half a million people use instant coffee. Ground coffee only 18.4% and decaf 15.2%. There were 100,022.4% non-coffee drinkers who served as the comparator group. So yeah, they did compare it to non-coffee drinkers, which is you know what you have to do if you want to see the effects of coffee on the longevity markers. In total, about 6.2% of the participants died during the follow-up, and uh, all types of coffee were linked with a reduction in death from any cause. The greatest risk reduction gene with two to three cups per day, which compared to no coffee drinking, was associated with a 14%, 27%, and 11% lower likelihood of death from decaffeinated ground and instant preparations. So 14% decaf, 27% reduction in all-cause mortality by ground, and uh, instant coffee, 11% reduction, which is quite still you know, good. In terms of cardiovascular disease, then uh, decaf was associated with 6% reduced uh, incidence of cardiovascular disease, 20% for uh, ground coffee, again, much larger, and 9% for instant coffee. So the instant coffee appears to have a better effect for heart disease than a decaf, but overall mortality 
the uh, decaf is better than uh, instant coffee, <laughs> which is interesting. Overall, I think that, yeah, instant coffee is not like a healthy thing that you, you want to consume. Uh, if you can, definitely ground coffee uh, or decaf. But I mean, every once in a while, if you're just, you know, on the run and hurrying, then yeah, like instant coffee appear apparently still uh, somewhat okay. So in conclusion, drinking some coffee is good for your uh, heart disease risk as well as overall mortality. The uh, most optimal amount to drink per day appears to be uh, two to three cups of ground coffee. That gives you the best uh, risk reduction and uh, yeah, that's also where you get the most of the health benefits uh, from that. All right, that's it for this video. But if you are interested in reversing your biological age, then I am looking for a few more people who want to do that, who want to reverse their biological clock and reverse aging. If you're interested, then message me the word health on Instagram or email info at and I'll send you all the details. But on that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.